Morangodnej hoki to to ujte pare kura. Imo no a toki tu tu go te hika o to faia. Yo moto popore mai ki te piru. Mai kakariki te puka paua fa horo kiri kiraro horo kiri horo kiri kirunga. We wanted some of those parts of the land to be known for themselves, their, their proper names, not be given names, you know, that don't actually belong to the, the area. Um, now at the turn of this century, the 21st century, um, there is a huge push for the return, the re-establishment of our names and places. Mātai Taua, a Pāua Tahanui, a Waitangi Rua, Wai O Hata, Tara Atoa. During the period of, of colonisation and the um, overall settlement of this area, Purirua and the outline sort of reaches, um, I guess to establish that colonial mindset was to change those names, change the language, empower people or push people into learning English. Kene puru to tahi, taua, raroa, kene puru tuarua, kene puru tuatoru. I think by and large it's going to be a road of significance for, for this area. And I'm glad it's carrying some of our names. The name Pauafa is significant to Ngāti Tua because it's one of our maunga that we have. It's sort of like um, the weather vane for the area. And that's sort of what the name means. It's a po or a rod, and afa means storm. So it's the place, right, where the storms come in to the northern western coast of our, of our rohe. The significance there was that he decided to, to dig in and face um, the colonial troops on a ridge where he perceived to have the upper hand looking down. And lives were lost from both sides, but it became quite a uh, historical point in both the colonial acquisition of land and our determination to hold on to it. There's two river streams there when Ngāti Tōr first arrived there and a couple of his children were, lives were taken. So you've got two crying waters, two crying streams, Waitangi Rua. The name was given uh, Tara uh, Tōr uh, really because when you look at the bridge, right, it's, it's the biggest bridge on Transmission Gully. It's the highest bridge. It has a sense of strength, right? And that's what Tor means. It means to be strong or to be mighty. And so it seemed appropriate to give the name Tara, which is the bridge or the pathway, um, a Tor, a Tor meaning strong. I think it's a godsend overall. I think it's going to benefit our region, country immensely.